Hello, I'm Claudia Fernandez, a Mexican architectural designer that wants you to realize that physical surroundings can put us in a vulnerable position and that virtual reality technologies can help overcome this. How? Well, think about this. Design has the ability to make activities easier or more difficult for you. And at the same time, every design decision has the potential to either exclude or include a human being. For example, choosing between a ramp or a staircase for a building's main entrance has very different outcomes, especially if you're a wheelchair user, have a cardiovascular disease, are a parent with a baby stroller, or you're just distracted with your cell phone. Unfortunately, we encounter these problems once the design has been built, and later adaptations, if done, are proved to be more expensive and often ineffective. International organizations, governments, and academia have been concerned about bridging the gap between vulnerable users and physical surroundings. However, these solutions often lack one key component, real users' interaction with the project. But what if we could test our designs by interacting with them before the project is built? And what if to minimize exclusion, we get the most vulnerable people to actually test the architectural decisions? That is exactly what this project is about. I am working on a design method that takes advantage of the already existing virtual reality immersive technologies and research to get the most vulnerable users in the design process and to test the environments before they exist in the physical world. In other words, imagine that with a pair of VR glasses, some controls and a 3D model, it's possible to know if a hospital design is fit for the elderly, the injured or the staff that is constantly under stress instead of wasting time and money in later refurbishing, or worse, instead of putting at risk or excluding the people that rely on these spaces the most. This method has the potential to change the way we design and experience our physical surroundings in academia by providing hands-on information about which combinations of features in an architectural design are the most useful for the largest amount of users. For professionals, by providing a tool to create designs that better serve their community or private clients. And finally, for our society, this project has the potential to provide better designs that optimize everyone's daily activities, because research has shown that designing for the most vulnerable is designing for all of us. Thank you for watching. Now, if you want to reach out, here's my contact info.